Administration presents with yellow discoloration of skin and sclera. Clay stools and dark urine. What is the most likely diagnosis? Obstructive joint. What investigation will you perform? What blood test? Hereptis. Liver function test. This is the liver function test report. Can you interpret? What is done with wrong with the bilirubin? It is raised. is raised. ALT raised. raised but slightly raised. What about alkaline phosphates? It's markedly raised. Uh, albumin is a little low, but the significant abnormality is bilirubin and alkaline phosphates. Um, what does this mean? There is obstructive jaundice. What imaging investigation will you perform? Ultrasound abdomen. What? Are the, what will be the findings on ultrasound abdomen? The most marked and diagnostic and pathognomic feature of obstructive jaundice on ultrasound is intra and extra hepatic dilatation of bilirubin channels. If ultrasound shows a stone in common bile duct, what will you do next? MRC. What, what will you do next? MRCP. Why? To exactly know the size of the stone. How will you manage if stone is of less than one centimeter size? ERCP. Less than one centimeter. ERCP, sphincterotomy, and retrieval of stone. What is the management if the stone is of more than one centimeter size? Surgical, surgical intervention. And what is that surgical intervention? Okay. Open cholidocotomy and T tube drainage. Mm -hmm. The T tube cholangiogram of the patient which we have seen earlier. So uh, next station you will be shown the picture of X-ray. And the question will be the same. What is this X-ray? Plain X-ray abdomen. What are your findings? Dilated bowel loops. So your proper phrase will be air-filled dilated small gut loops. So why small? Because they are in lying in the center of the abdomen because large gut lies on the periphery of abdomen and that has different uh, uh, radiological characteristics. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is air in there is air in the small gut normally? No. No. So air comes in small gut because of some distal obstruction. So what is your diagnosis most likely? Intestinal Acute intestinal, intestinal obstruction. Next station you will be shown this picture. What are the findings? Dilated. Dilated tortuous veins in lower limb. Most likely diagnosis? Varicose veins. Varicose veins. How will you test uh, varicose veins clinically? By tourniquet tests. What is the imaging investigation you will perform in this case Doppler. and is there anything better than Doppler and you duplex scan duplex. if available duplex scan is better image imaging technique in varicose veins what information would you like to know uh, Sir, the blood flow in number one blood, blood flow or change in blood flow change or reverse blood, 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 blood flow or status of the valves. Number two, level of incompetence, incompetence. whether it is saphnofemoral incompetence or saphnopopliteal incompetence or perforated incompetence. Number three, status of deeper veins hmm. because Tumular if you Ligate superficial veins, your deeper veins should be patent. Sir, we have seen basically superficial system, venous system and oral second one is deep. Deep system.
What is this X-ray? Plain X-ray. Plain X-ray chest. What is the area exposed? Uh, the medial part of clavicles, chest, and uh, small part of abdomen under the diaphragm. Right. So, uh, what are these? Most likely, cannonball metastatic deposits. What are the most common tumors that uh, spread to lungs? Breast, Breast and, and colorectal cancers. Right. I'll tell you uh, uh, an easy way to read a chest X-ray, and that mnemonic is A B C D E. What is that? Airway. A for airway, and airway comprises of trachea. You can see trachea is central. Then it divides into bronchi and bronchioles, and then airway uh, comprises of lung fields. So you see all lung fields, and among lung fields, costo, phrenic angle, and cardiophrenic angles. Costophrenic and cardiophrenic, and then lung fields. So what are you seeing in the lung fields? Multiple rounded opacities. What is B? B for bones. There is no fracture of clavicles. The ribs are normal. Bones, bones, bones. The spine appears normal. And what is C? Cardiac shadow. Cardiac shadow is mired like this. And it should not be more than half of the, the transverse diameter. So there is no cardiomegaly. C. Then D is diaphragm. Especially in case of gas in the diaphragm. Free gas in the diaphragm. Diaphragmatic rupture. Diaphragmatic hernia. Right? So, yes. Diaphragmatic hernia. Gas under the diaphragm. Diaphragmatic tear. A, B, C, D. Then E. What is E? E is extra pulmonary tissues. So, this is fat. This is axillary fat. This is chest wall. This is axillary fat and chest wall. If there is a fracture of ribs and leakage of air into subcutaneous tissue, what is that condition called? Um, surgical, emphysema. surgical emphysema. And how does surgical emphysema appear on chest x-ray? Black spots, dot, 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 black spots. Air is black. When air comes in subcutaneous tissue, so there are black spots, black spots, black spots. That is surgical emphysema. So A, B, C, D, don't forget. A, B, C, D, E. So next is station. What is this x-ray? X-ray pelvis. X-ray, plain x-ray mm -hmm. pelvis showing lower third of pelvic bones and upper half of femur. both femur and, and uh, hip joint. This is X-ray. So what are the findings? Can you see the disruption of what is fracture? Break in the continuity of bone. Can you see the continuity here? Yes. What has gone wrong here? So it has undergone a breakdown. There is no continuity and there is no continuity here and you can see a line. So this is fracture. Where it is? Fracture, neck, neck of femur. Mm. This is head. head. This is neck. neck. This, these are trochanters. trochanters. Okay. If it, the fracture lies here, right. that fracture. will be intertrochanteric inter fracture. If it fracture lies here, mm. it will be Neck fracture femur. neck of the femur. If fracture lies here, Basic. that will be Basic fracture femur. neck of the femur, but that will be intracapsular. Hmm. Okay? Extra that will be intra. What happens if there is intracapsular fracture? Replacement. The head undergoes necrosis, necrosis because of vascular loss. And then 
in all other cases the same head can be fixed by a dynamic hip screw but if it is uh, intracapsular fracture then you have to replace the head with hemi arthroplasty or austin moore prosthesis so uh, the next station may have a scenario that a 65 years old lady presented with upper abdominal pain radiating to back nausea vomiting on on examination she has tachycardia she is dehydrated and she is complaining of pain this will be the uh, report serum amylase 1195 and bilirubin 38 mg so uh, the question may be what is the diagnosis pancreatitis most likely it is acute pancreatitis acute pancreatitis why because serum amylase has been raised three to four times more than normal that criteria is mandatory to label a patient having pancreatitis to give two differential diagnosis so a patient presenting with right upper abdominal pain radiating to back vomiting nausea cholecystitis acute cholecystitis acute cholecystitis uh, this this lady may have perforated urinal ulcer so these are differential diagnoses so what is the next investigation in this case of acute pancreatitis okay why serum lipase because it is more sensitive but as serum amylase is markedly raised so uh, beside doing another blood test what else we would like to do especially in imaging studies ultrasound now right and then if ultrasound is has equal vocal signs then ct ct c c t f down so next the next important significant imaging investigation in case of acute pancreatitis is cct abdomen the next uh, station may be uh, the the command may be examine the breast of the patient uh, there may be a patient or there may be this model on what can what you can see on inspection so you have to focus on five things while inspecting breast one nipple nipple areola complex and rest of the four things are rest of the four areas are four quadrants of breast